video is being brought to you by Dandy Baits. This is an absolutely perfect spinnerbait situation for this time of the year. Sparse toolies on a flat. Weather's coming out of the south, southeast, and we're in good shape. 12 mile an hour breeze, throw it out there, just wind it through. Get that spinnerbait to come through those toolies and play pinball. You want that, you want that spinnerbait, pick a lane in the toolies, throw it through there, bump that spinnerbait into the, every time you bump that spinnerbait into the toolies, those blades will pause, give it a little twitch, those blades will engage, and a lot of times that's when you'll get that strike. There he is right there. Striped bass. We're not fishing for those. What? No. I'm fishing for what? I'm fishing for anything that'll bite a spinnerbait. That is a DQ right there. DQ for what? If you're going to catch a striper on a spinnerbait, at least make him a good one. Yeah. Is that really how you feel? Oh yeah. About my efforts? Oh yeah. You know, here I'm working my heart out just to get bit. I didn't see you catch anything. Oh, that's coming. You know, see how that works? I get trashed because I got the fish, but if he catches it, I get to hear a long then story about his technique and his cast and his ability to weave it through the toolies. That's what I get to hear about. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> how precise the technique was. Hey, you know what? How Dan money the cast was. Dandy Bates Winter Bates comes through again. Perfect tempo in the retrieve. Oh, you sucker! Get it's a little tiny striper, isn't it? No, that's not a striper. It's that's... a little tiny striper, this isn't it? This will be a green one. Oh, yeah. It's always a green one when you're in the front of the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How does that work? Yeah. Oh. Look at you go. <laughs> They're going to get bigger, right? You know, I'm with the famous Bobby Barrick right Damn. now. This is five pound only club. SLK double gold. Why are we throwing double gold? Because we have low light levels today. So how do you feel about double gold versus like a painted blade like I'm doing? Which I is think, what I like. Actually, right actually painted blade is... The painted uh, blades. Painted blades are awesome. Low light levels yeah. or dingy water with 100% light penetration. Right. Um, but being that we had, I mean, this is absolutely perfect. Spinner rate weather. We got a 12 mile an hour breeze, kind of tucked in. It's coming out of the south, which is key. And uh, I'm throwing SLK. 040 wire, really important. I know you got. I have a little bit lighter wire. I have the 03 wire with this one. Okay. With the painted blade. You get and a little, get more, little more vibration, and I'm doing it because I'm fishing behind you. So if I can pick up a fish, maybe that you're not going to pick up, which is my hope. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. I no. thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> Actually, double uh, two different combinate. But the thing is, right now we're kind of most of the fish are focusing on shad. Right. So that's why we're kind of staying with the whitish right. theme. Um, we get a few fish, and then. We'll start throwing the boops, which is the red with some black in it. And I know you've got a color. I'm going to throw a black and red blade when you start doing cool. that. But I want to definitely make and sure we'll that try I... And we'll try and get a bigger bite on those fish that are keen on crawd at night. So we'll give it a shot. Right. See what happens. Just leave something for me. <laughs> oh, you'll get your share. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come out of there. Oh. Oh, she got me on the two. Look at that. Look at that Thule dance. Look at that Thule dance. Let's see if she'll stay pegged. I don't want to. I don't want to wreck this area for that one fish. Come out of there. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. She coming? That's, that's a good fish. She's still pinned on. Huh? She's on that one Thule. Oh yes, she is. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> you had her just. Stuck on that toolie. You know what? That's Holy a, cow. That's a good. Uh, that's a good deal for guys. You know. You notice how if you, especially if you're fishing with your partner. Good old S. Okay. Double gold. That's a beauty. But the thing is, the only reason we get this fish right here, I'm gonna let her go. The only reason we catch that fish, I swing. 
she goes right into a toolie and she gets tangled up. Don't sit there and pull on her. Something's gonna give, either your line or that hook's gonna pull away from the fish's flesh, okay? Get on your trolling motor. If you're with another guy, get on the trolling motor, keep a load in your rod, wind up to it, maintain that load, really important, okay? That'll keep hook point pressure in that fish's nose. Let your partner go down there and do exactly what Nathan just did and you'll catch that big old bass. Boy, that nice. thing landed right in the tule. Oh. That, thing, that thing landed right in the tule, and just as I pulled it, just as I, just as I pulled it off the tule, she ate that thing. It's like she was looking at it on the. There it is. It's been a That's right there. Good one. Holy cow! <laughs> I messed up and threw it a little bit too far. And it landed on the tule, and I pulled that tule leaned over like that, and it slid right off, and the blades engaged, and she ate it. You know, one of the other things that those fish will do is after each fish, they'll open up your spinnerbait like that. So what I do is I just kind of hold the head right there with my thumb, and I press down on the wire. Makes everything a little more compact. Those two willow leaf blades. They're rotating together. It looks like two bait fish swimming. Brings their attention. It's moving water. They can sense that through their lateral lines. They know that something's there. It's displacing water with those blades. Silhouette of a couple of bait fish. And for some reason, they always target the skirt. Not always. A lot of times they will bump that blade. You're winding that spinner bait. Thunk. It's real important not to set when you feel thunk. Wind, thunk. Keep it coming. And then they'll go tick and your line will drop or They'll hammer it real hard. If they hammer it real hard, there's two or three fish involved. So as you're winding in, have your buddy throw. He needs to throw right back over there where you just came from. He'll come through there and a lot of times he'll get bit too. So real important, when your spinner bait opens up like that, just bend it back, keep a nice compact profile and you'll catch a lot more spinner bait fish. <laughs> Out of the ditches, huh? Oh boy, she was in that stuff. <laughs> she was in that stuff. <laughs> Mr. Boops! <laughs> Hot bass. Mr. Boops! What are you doing with all that red stuff on your nose? I thought he had a crawdad. Almost got a dead 